Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's Coach No Free Show. I'm Randy Brochu alongside, of course, the head coach of Sacred Heart Football, Mark No Free. We'll revisit the 35-6 opening night win before we turn our attention to week two, Coach, because it was some atmosphere at Campus Field the other night. Obviously, all sides of the ball getting it done, offense, defense, special teams, and the fans as well. How fun was it to coach that one and for the, our student-athletes? How much fun was that atmosphere? Well, it's always great to open the season at home and uh, to have the turnout that we had, and, and the place looked great. I mean, with some of the upgrades that we're doing and some of the changes that we made to campus field, it was, uh, it was a phenomenal atmosphere. I know the coaches, the players appreciated it, and it was good to start the season off with a win at home with, with a crowd that we had. It was a great opportunity, and uh, kids loved it. I know you put up 35 points, but I would like to start with the defense first because there's so many new faces <laughs> on the defense, and a few of them really made their presence felt. I thought Chris Adjaman with the two sacks, Mike Weiland was all over the field, and Aaron Donaldson as well made his presence felt. What did you see? Uh, same thing, you know, when we turn the film on uh, Sunday morning, you sit there and you look at the stats and you watch it and you grade it out. Uh, Aaron Donaldson and Chris Adjaman gave us uh, quite a bit of pressure up front, and, they, you know, they're just, they have motors that just don't stop, and uh, it was great to see. Um, Aaron was new to our program this year, and uh, Chris had been with us for two years but didn't play much um, until last year, so he's come a long way. And then you talk about Mike Weiland and uh, even Pat Luker, the two inside linebackers. Um, they're red shirt sophomores, and uh, they played a little bit last year on special teams. In their freshman year, they didn't play at all. Um, and to see how far they've come in terms of um, their growth, their uh, you know learning of the defense. I mean, it's it's phenomenal to see kids like that buy into the program. And Coach Cook's done a great job getting those guys ready. And it showed Saturday night. Uh, the two of them had a great game, and they were all over the field. And that's what you want from your inside linebackers. And of course, offensively. Everybody seemed in sync. Kevin Duke to Andrew O'Neill. That's nice when you get that for the opening drive of the season. Great catch in the back of the end zone by O'Neill. Jordan Meacham steps up and has a career day. Kezio Snelling gets yeah. involved in his first game as a pioneer, catches a touchdown pass from Duke. Offensively, it looked like everybody kind of did their job and was all in sync with Duke leading them. Yeah, they did. You know, um, again, Andrew and uh, Kevin are fifth-year seniors, and they got a great, you know, relationship and uh, their connection you, you just you love seeing it and you, you're happy for both kids uh, for the work that they've put in over the past four years and leaders and uh, you know they're guys that you go to. Uh, Kezio Snelling is new to our program this year and came in and uh, you know doesn't miss a beat steps right in he has a touchdown his first game as a pioneer. Uh, Jordan Meacham has been one of our go-to guys last year and uh, you talk about a kid that can do everything uh, you can move him around. You can put him in the slot. You can release him out of the backfield, and he can carry the ball 25 times for you. Tough kid, runs hard, and uh, he had a great day along with Duke. Our offensive line, I, you know, we have three new guys on the offensive line. I thought they did a great job. We had over 250 yards rushing, which is good. So, yeah, we were clicking on all cylinders, um, but when you go back and you watch the film, you sit there and say, well, we could have done this better. We could have done that better. And we talked about it. You know, we talked about it yesterday and all week, and uh, my approach to the team was, we're not going to settle for mediocrity. You know, uh, there's other things we can do better, and there's another level, and we're going to push you in practice, and we're going to strive to get to that next level. Of course, Julius Chestnut, <laughs> who was the Rookie of the Week in the Northeast Conference, makes his presence felt, not only offensively, makes the first tackle of the season on the first play on special teams, and then runs it in twice, including that electric 31-yard run to start the fourth quarter. He was a lot of fun to watch, and you were telling me, I know, you know, we talk about complete football players. I think you call them dudes. Yeah. <laughs> he played like a dude. He did, you know, for his first game uh, in, as a college true freshman. Uh, we're really, you know, happy for him. And, uh, you know, he had a great game, and uh, we're excited to see what he can do. But, uh, again, that one game his freshman year, uh, he stepped up and he did some things that we like to see and, you know, things that we expected from him bringing him here. Um, but he's got, you know, he's, he's a freshman. So, there's going to be bumps along the way, and there's going to be highs and lows, and hopefully, you know, he's a great kid, and uh, I know his work ethic will be fine, and uh, we got to keep getting him to climb, and uh, you don't ever want to top out early in your career. So uh, we're expecting big things from him and nothing but, you know, increase his ability and uh, see his production go as we go here through the season. As always, we turn the page now to week two. Bucknell, tough opponent, really strong defense. What are your thoughts on the opponent this week as uh, you head out into Pennsylvania? Well, you know, we've, we've played Bucknell now, I think, three or four years in a row, and it's always, you know, the same thing. They're big, they're physical. You know, Joe Susan's done a great job. They're building that program. And, uh, 
you know, they I remember the year in four, 2014, they were going to win the Patriot League, playing Fordham in the championship game, and we were in our second year here, and we had some pretty good battles the last three years. Last year, we had lost 34-31 um, with a field goal with no time left on the clock, but uh, they're a good football team, and Joe does a great job. They're physical, they're big, they're very good on defense. Uh, they have, you know, create problems with what they do. So, you know, we're going to have to go down to Lewisburg, PA, we're going to have to play a better game than we did Saturday night and understand that this is a, another opponent that uh, is well coached. They're tough. They're physical. We've had some good battles, and we got to be ready to go. Very good, Coach. Good luck this week. We'll be watching. Thank you. Mark Nofree is always joining us here on the weekly Coach Nofree Show. Sacred Heart and Bucknell, 3 o'clock on Saturday. We'll see you next week, everyone.